I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we're demonstrating the performance and capabilities of Microsoft Teams running optimized on a VMware ready supported Tenzig model, the NOS 6148V. This isn't the only Tenzig VMware ready supported model, by the way. The popular 6048QV is also part of the latest certification success, among other Tenzig models featured on the VMware marketplace. This is the second part in the series that covers Microsoft Teams optimization, and you might remember that we covered setting up and configuring Teams for VMware Horizon in a previous video. That video mentioned many of the operating system requirements for both the client endpoint and the virtual desktop. It also mentioned how to install the latest VMware Horizon agent on the virtual desktop and configure group policy settings on the machine to take advantage of Microsoft Teams optimization features. We recommend that you watch that video too, as it gives a good introduction into setup and configuration of Teams optimization for VMware Horizon. So we've included a link to it in the description below this video. Before we start the demonstration, we'd like to point you in the direction of the VMware Ready Marketplace at marketplace.cloud.vmware.com, where you'll find the Tenzig 6148V that we're showcasing here in this video. You can also visit vmware.com slash resources slash compatibility to find the latest compatible devices from Tenzig Technology. Select Horizon Thin Clients from the drop down, Horizon Client 2106, and Partner as Tenzig. Click Update and View Results, and you will see the latest certified devices in the section below. To start with, we're going to take a look at some of the device settings of the 6148V, particularly the firmware level and audio options. If I click on the cogs in the Horizon Connect window, I'm taken into the control panel. If we go into the system information screen, you'll notice that this version of NOS 6148V is running version 16.3.27.3. And if you click on the packages menu option and scroll down the list, you can see that we're running the latest VMware View 2106 client that is required for Linux devices to run Microsoft Teams in optimization mode. It's important to mention that Tenzig have integrated the 2106 client for Linux into NOS 64V firmware 16.3.27.2 or 16.3.28 onwards. We'll close the system information window and click on the sounds speaker icon and take a look at our connected audio devices. If I click on the audio drop down, you can see we have the standard analog audio output device for both audio and mic, but I can also change these to be Sennheiser USB headset and my Logitech C505 HD webcam if I wanted to. You must be aware that these are to set the preferred audio input output devices into a remote session and used for RTAV only not Teams optimization. I'll explain more in the next section where it will make more sense. If we close this and open up the USB devices window, we can see any devices that are attached to my Tenzig 6148V. I mentioned a few moments ago that we would only ever be using the sound devices with RTAV and not when using optimization mode with Teams. To do this, we need to make sure any webcam and other audio video devices are excluded from redirection to the VDI. We can see that our webcam device class is already excluded, but we just need to scroll down and make sure that any individual devices are not included, as they would override the redirection, even if they belong to an already excluded class. We can see my Sennheiser headset and my Logitech mic that is built into the webcam. So we'll click in and exclude them from redirection. Now we've done that, we'll click OK to save, 
exit back to the control panel and then close this to return to the Horizon Client login box. Now we're going to click connect and just wait for the resources to appear that are available to my user account. I double click into my Horizon desktop named Jason W10 Personal and wait for my user to log in and the desktop to appear. Once inside, if we click the sound icon in the system tray, you'll see that the connected speakers are listed as the standard VMware virtual audio device that are part of the RTAV audio settings configured on our Tenzig 6148V. Now, we'll load Microsoft Teams so we can see if the optimization is working inside the application. Click on the three dots next to your profile icon. Select About and Version. You should see the VMware Media Optimized note in the version statement above. This means that we're successfully set up and running Teams in optimized mode as intended, where the audio and video is being redirected to the client endpoint instead of through the VDI. You may remember that we demonstrated how to set up and configure this VM for Teams optimization in the previous video by using ADMX group policy settings, the latest Teams release, and the latest VMware Horizon agent. If we click the three dots again, and then click Settings and Devices on the left-hand menu, we can see the webcam and audio devices connected to the NOS client. Notice that they're not generic devices as shown in the Windows system tray sound icon earlier. Now they are enumerated through to the Teams app as if they are physically connected to the virtual desktop and can be selected by the user as the preferred device. If we close the Devices box and return to the Teams app, we can demonstrate a Teams call and show what's happening inside the VM and also on the Tenzig 6148V with regards to the resources being consumed. Let's start a Teams call with Tenzig CTO Kevin Greenway and then look at some of the performance statistics when running in optimized mode. As soon as we're connected, notice the quality of the video being displayed and also the version details that show we're running in optimized mode. If we open up Task Manager and go into the Performance tab, notice the low CPU utilization. This is because the audio and video is being redirected to the Tenzig client endpoint and not through the virtual machine as we expected. Let's minimize the VMware Horizon session and open up an SSH window and see what's happening on my physical 6148V. If I type in top and then enter, then I can see a list of processes running in descending order. Notice that the VMware client process is using a considerable amount of CPU, almost 80% of the overall total CPU threads available. This isn't the actual total of all CPU available, but across four cores. If you look at CPU 0 to CPU 3, then they're all averaging around 30% of each core, which is excellent for the Tenzi client as there is still plenty of headroom for the device to perform well, running other applications inside the VDI. If we go back into the task manager again and click on the Ethernet performance, you can see how very little traffic is being pushed across the VDI and remote network. This is because once again, audio and video is being redirected to the peer endpoints and not through the virtual desktop. If we look at processes running for my particular user, then we can see that Microsoft Teams is consuming less than 5% for the VM CPU, which is excellent and definitely shows that we're running in optimized mode. If we scroll down to the VMware Blast desktop server process, we can see that it's also taking very little CPU. This process, also known as VM Blast W, is responsible for encoding the screen content either in H.264, H.265, JPG or Blast codec. Before we start under the call to demonstrate RTAV in operation, 
I'll just show you the difference in performance when we're running optimized and with RTAV and what happens inside the VM with regards to VM Blast W. In case of RTAV, the process usage will be higher as the team's video incoming and outgoing is rendered and encoded directly on the VM. This is because the user's webcam is forwarded to the VM and also other parties receive video is fed directly into the team's client, which also runs on the VM. If I take a screenshot from inside the VM's desktop, we can see that there is video content captured because the video and audio is being processed inside the VM. Notice that the VM Blast W process is using approximately 17 to 18% of the virtual machine's CPU. In the case of optimization, both the locally connected webcam and other parties incoming video on Teams is encoded directly on the client endpoint. So less processing overhead for the VM and less encoding for the service VM Blast W, since the video feeds are running on the client, not on the VM. If I take a screenshot from inside the VM's desktop again, we can see that there is no content captured because the video call content is being processed on the Tenzig endpoint and not inside the VDI. Now we're going to close the call and start another Teams call, this time running without optimization and relying on RTAV. Before we start the next call, I'm going to switch optimization off via the Windows registry. I showed you how to do this with the local group policy editor in the last video, so here is an alternative way of doing this. Open the registry editor, and navigate to H key local machine, software, policies, VMware Inc, and then VMware WebRTC Reader. Double click on the Teams enabled value, enter zero as its data, and click OK. Now navigate to VMware HTML5 server, Double click on the enabled value, enter zero again as data, and click OK. Close the registry editor and quit Teams from the hidden icons section in the taskbar. You need to do this because Teams has to reload the registry entries in order to disable optimization. Now we've done that, let's open Teams again and check that we're not running optimized. Go back and click the three dots again. Select About and Version. Notice that we no longer have the VMware Media Optimize note in the version tray, so we know we're going to be falling back to RTAV on our next call. Now let's call Kevin again and take a look at some performance and quality statistics now that we're running without optimization. Inside Task Manager again, you'll notice that the CPU is consuming about five times more than on the optimized call, and the bandwidth being consumed is almost 10 times more than previously being used. As he moves around, you can see the difference in video quality too, as this is far more degraded when compared to the optimized video on the previous call. If we look at processes running for my particular user, we can see that Microsoft Teams is consuming approximately 18 to 20% of the VM CPU compared to the previous call of around 5%. Let's minimize the VMware Horizon session again and open up an SSH window and see what's happening on my physical 6148V. If I type in top again, then I can see a list of processes running and the CPU usage. Notice that the VMware client process is now using a lot less CPU, almost 25% of the overall total CPU threads available. This isn't the actual total of all CPU available, but across all four cores. If you look at CPU 0 to CPU 3, then they're all averaging between 10 and 20% of each core. This isn't much different to the performance we saw on the 6148V earlier, and shows that this device is more than capable of handling any of these core scenarios. This concludes today's demonstration of the performance and capabilities of Microsoft Teams running optimized on a VMware-ready supported Tenzig model, the NOS 6148V. I hope you enjoyed the session, and remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, 
then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com.